I have another exciting battery test today. This is the BTY 3000 milliamps per hour nickel metal hydride battery. These are very popular and very common on eBay. They are also ultra low cost. Now, I know for a fact that I have never tested a battery that is 3000 milliamps an hour, but I'm going to go through the test procedure that I normally do. I'm just comparing it to the Any Loops, which are a high quality battery, and you'll see that it's both shorter and the thickness is also less than the Panasonic battery and also light so I put them on the scales one of them came in at 14 grams and the two combined is 28 grams so they're very light cells which is a bad sign with the any loop 25 grams just for a single battery so that could explain why we might have some problems later on I'm just showing you the wrapper now and what I'm going to do is run it through my capacity test. I already ran the cells through a few discharge and charge cycles and the results are really bad. They didn't even reach the 400 milliamps per hour mark. And this test is pretty accurate. So I was curious as to the problem and the internal resistance test wasn't that high. So it doesn't indicate that they're worn out and old cells. You have to knock about 30 milliohms off of that figure. So I took the wrapper off of the battery. There were no markings on it. It's actually quite thick, the casing. It's quite hard to get into it. So I opened it up. Don't attempt to do this with lithium ion cells. It's quite dangerous. And you'll see that the electrode is very thin and there isn't much wrap at all in this battery. And that explains the reason why the cell has a very low capacity. That should be really packed tight. If you've ever gone into a shop and bought those bargain basement alkaline batteries that you can dent very easily the reason is because the electrode is not enough of it in there and that's why the capacity is very low so these batteries are not worth buying at any price i've seen them at very cheap prices the capacity is simply unusable for them even on low drain devices such as remote controls so this is definitely one to avoid do check out my other videos on battery reviews and i'll catch up with you in my next review